Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you one of the most installed packages on Atom. And now, this is a feature that comes by standard into Sublime, but a lot of people turn it off. This is the mini map. So, I'm going to show you how you can have a mini map and change the different settings within Atom. Let's get started on that right now. Now another piece of functionality that's in Sublime Text by default, but you can easily and quickly add to Atom if you so would choose, is the mini-map. If we just head to the packages and search for mini-map, now you can see just how popular this package is because of its amount of installs. Yeah, the first one looks like it's just find and replace, then we have mini-map cursor line, mini-map pigments. What we actually want is the one that's just labeled as mini-map, which has over 1,200,000 installs. So this is definitely a highly used package and one that you might be used to with other text editing software. Now what's cool about this mini map is you can disable it if you'd like. Some people just disable it by default in Sublime Text. So the fact that you can have it here if you want it or uninstall it if you don't want it is really nice. We can also have it be toggled, auto toggle. And you can see there's actually a bunch of settings for the mini map. You can even display it on the left if you'd like. So as you can see, here we have our mini map with tons of options. You can really have any of these options you'd like. Now if we click index or let's come to one of our longer files like this stylus file, you can see the mini map just like we're used to exists here. And, and if we click this gear in the top right here, we can say if it's on the left or right, we can say it's an absolute mode, which means that it's going to sit on top of your code. Otherwise, here it is where your code is just pushed to the right. You can show the code highlights or not. That's not going to be immediately apparent in this file. Let's head to this JavaScript where we can turn off code highlights and we just have gray. Code highlights makes it colored. Left, right, wherever you so choose. So this is the mini map in Atom. It's a feature I really like from Sublime Text. I know some people don't like it. It's something that I would personally be using all the time in my projects. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit me up to Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.